Last year, I sort of panned by the BMW booth and said, you know, I don't have anything bad to say about BMW at all. So I just showed pictures. They had the i3 and the i8 here last year. The presentation this year is kind of lackluster. The colors aren't vibrant. They picked a lot of beige, white, gray. Um, even for the, the 6 Series Grand Coupe, which at IMPA, at the test days when I was driving it, I, and it was my girlfriend, that was my official girlfriend of the day, because it was so beautiful. And here in a gray with a gray interior, it just almost disappears into nothing. It's, it's truly a shame. BMW is a phenomenal car company. For whatever reason, here at this show, nothing is jumping out at me, except the 135 is a fantastic car, and more people should be buying it. It's expensive at $45,000. It's a bit high for this market range, but it is a fantastic car. The 1M, Series 1M Coupe was a great car, and I wish they'd bring that back, and there are rumblings that there will be another M variant. The M Sport addition to the 135 is a worthwhile piece, but again, expensive. It's one of those things where you almost have to get over the pricing you have to put it out of your head. You have to say, oh, I'm going to go crazy and spend 60 grand on a car, and I want the best one I can get for 60 grand. I don't care about the image. I don't care about the size. It's just I want a great car. You'd be very hard pressed to beat this. Mind you, that segment of the market's getting pretty crowded. Mercedes is going to bring the CLA AMG Coupe for about that kind of money. So that's an interesting competitor. All wheel drive, same horsepower roughly, same agility, but that has all wheel drive, and this one doesn't. Have to see, about to see.